Welcome back, everybody. One popular doll, it's drawing a double take from some moms and dads, and this is one of them. Mattel's Monster High doll, Claudine Wolf, comes with a pretty interesting caption on the box. It says, my hair is worthy of a shampoo commercial, and that's just what grows on my legs. Plucking and shaving is definitely a full-time job, but that's a small price to pay for being scarily fabulous. Claudine is supposed to be a werewolf. Still, some parents think it is too much. Mattel says it's for ages six and up. Still, it is one of the company's most popular dolls. Mattel says the dolls positively promote the acceptance 
of all individuals. And joining me now are the co-leaders of the Body Image Group at Water's Edge Counseling, Jenny Genther and Krista Carpenter. Gals, we're going to get to parental responsibility here in a moment. Um, you know, I have little girls, and they play with dolls. And frankly, if I don't like the doll, I'm not going to buy it for them. Mm -hmm. But when I saw this, I think it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know, n at no point should a six-year-old girl be being told to shave. So I'm interested in your response mm -hmm. because that's who they're targeting, Mattel is. Yes, they claim to be targeting 12-year-olds, um, but clearly <coughs> younger, younger girls are wanting to purchase this doll and play with it. And I think it does send a, a negative message to be shaving at such a young age and plucking. And um, not to mention the outfits that these dolls are wearing. Yeah, I mean, she's got a tight little mini skirt on. You know, she, uh, she, she looks like a Barbie doll, but she has really dark purple lipstick on, green hair on the back of the box. It talks about, you know, her schedule. At 8 o'clock in the morning, she shaves. Uh, she tries to pick out what she's mm -hmm. going to wear. Everything mm -hmm. fits. She says she looks fabulous. She shaves again at 4 in the afternoon. So she has kind of a story back here. You guys deal with a lot of young girls and body image. So what's your biggest obstacle when you see something like this? I guess my biggest concern is the anxiety that it might produce in young women around getting the outfit right, um, being worried that you have to fix and cover up all of your flaws, some of which are just developmentally normal changes that girls go through, that it's exposing, like you said, girls that are maybe too young to ideas about sexuality and um, grooming habits that maybe preteens would be into and be learning from their parents. Yeah, she's talking about shaving, plucking, waxing, mm -hmm. what six, eight, ten-year-old, twelve-year-old mm -hmm. needs to be mm -hmm. talking about that. Uh, so what's your message then? Because a lot of this come down, comes down to parental responsibility. Right. You know what? If you don't like the doll, don't buy the doll. Mm -hmm. What's your well, message to parents? I would say that my message is, you know, for, for millennia, extended families were much more involved in the development of our children and nowadays the media saturated culture has taken place and is um, teaching our kids um, such things as you have to be super skinny to be okay your um, appearance is more important than your health um, so parents need to step up and take a bigger role in um, teaching their children that that's not okay well, and finally, the Barbie debate's been going on for decades. I mean, Barbie is thin. She's really busty. She's got long, skinny legs. You know, she's very pretty. Uh, but that hasn't changed. Barbie's still around. There's lots of Barbies, and it seems to be, you know, by this example, getting a little bit worse. So finally, how do you fight this battle? Yeah. I think um, the messages that this doll are bringing about are similar messages that are happening all over our culture right now, um, that the message is continually being reinforced to young women and older women that um, there's something that needs to be fixed, that you're missing something, mm -hmm. and that the product they're advertising or offering is going to rescue you from that imperfection or flaw. Um, and so one option is to come at it from a media standpoint where maybe you work toward lobbying, advertising, agencies are making changes at larger levels like the school and community level but beyond that it really comes down to the family and really filtering what you're going to allow into your home and trying to provide really good and healthy body image messages early on and messages around other qualities that young girls um, have such as their heart qualities mm -hmm. like being a good listener, being a good helper. Not so much about the appearance. Right, because okay. they over identify then with the, the appearance rather than other character traits. All right, some good tips for parents out there. Do what's best for you. Uh, gals, we appreciate you being here. Thank Thanks you. Uh, for your message and for your insight on this topic. Uh, Jeff, back to you.